Ah, uh, greetings, greetings, folks, greetings. Welcome to Endurance Productions Movie Reviews. Back at it again, folks, but until we get into the, uh, probably the mid-month September, the horror movie's going to take a little break right now. I'm still going to do horror vlog in between. But I wanted to do, uh, film up a few action movie reviews that are really close to my heart or uh, have to do with certain actors that I really enjoyed in my formative years and or uh, enjoy here in the contemporary, or, you know, what's going on now. Um, the first uh, set of reviews that I want to do in the action genre is on one of my favorite action stars, of course, Chuck Norris. I, I admit it. I mean, you know, the power is in the beard. You know, Chuck Norris, you can go on and on with Chuck Norris facts. In fact, I might do some of those at the end of these videos. I don't know. But uh, what I want to do with the Chuck Norris reviews, I'm going to do them in double features because... I can pretty much get two reviews each each uh, ten minute segment, or because Chuck Norris movies are all you'll find basically similar in nature. There's not a whole lot in the acting department, but the action is always usually through the roof. Going to dive right in, folks, with a, an older Chuck Norris favorite, A Force of One. Uh, this is one that I watched a lot growing up, and uh, it's not one of my fa it's not my favorite Chuck Norris movie, but it's a good one to get into the series with. Um, I have here the uh, what I would consider the, the best special edition uh, version of this one that you're going to be able to get. Um, Force of One is actually uh, from the writer of The French Connection. Uh, you'll know from Gene Hackman in a prior review that I did. Oddly enough, it's, uh, it's a smaller budget uh, Chuck Norris outing. It's one of his first features of the late 70s. Um, I've got to say, folks, first and foremost, production values of this movie are not that great. When you watch it, it's going to feel like a uh, movie of the week TV type production because the sets are rather cheap, the sound effects are not that great. But what you need to take notice of is not only it showcases Chuck Norris's abilities in a very good light. It, he plays a karate instructor, duh. Okay, you know he knows that role back to front. Okay, um, plays a karate instructor that gets uh, into a. Uh, gets into the story where he's trying to help train the local law enforcement on some karate tactics to help them on the job with the drug trade that's going on and that's how he kind of gets m melded into the story there um, Chuck Norris has an adoptive son that gets caught up in it and he gets killed as a result so he has to go into action and help the police find out who is who is doing these killings within the drug trade and help them uh, save the day basically about the main redeeming feature of uh, Force of One is the karate in the movie is done very well. Both He plays as a karate instructor, as I've said before, but it showcases his fighting abilities in the ring and full contact kumite, but also it showcases it out of the ring with a rival uh, villain as well. Kind of in the realm of uh, the same type of showdown in, that's showcased in the movie Roadhouse with Patrick Swayze and the bad guy. Um, there again, good fight scenes. Not much in the acting department at all. It does have the uh, the girl Jennifer O'Neill, who starred in Scanners, a David Cronenberg film that I like. Um, there again, I love the taglines on Chuck Norris's movies. I'll probably read a, a few of those for you. He hears the silence. He sees the darkness. Only he can stop the killing. Yes, all the cops and their guns could not stop it, but Chuck Norris can. But anyway, folks, kind of going over it like I always do. The DVD features of this one. As audio 5 to 1 surround sound mix, which is pretty decent for no more than what it is. Um, the making of documentary, which is very informative. Um, how American Cinema Company changed Hollywood forever. American Cinema was a low budget uh, uh, Hollywood production company of yesteryear that basically uh, had Chuck Norris in the bag for his first few films. And he basically, it tells how they got off the ground. It's kind of more of a production company type documentary. It doesn't really have much to do with Chuck Norris or the movie for that matter. Has some biography files, a theatrical trailer, and a TV commercial for the movie. Um, all in all, it's a bargain bin favorite, so it's not bad. If you just want some all-out vintage Chuck Norris karate, go for the Force of One. Carrying on with the Chuck Norris double feature here. Sorry folks, still getting the old caffeine shot in me there. Um, Going on with another one that I really like from his earlier efforts, um, back when Chuck Norris was still blonde, didn't have a beard or a mustache or anything, um, and most of his movies you'll find during that time frame when he had that kind of look going on, 
it was mainly just try to trying to capitalize on his karate abilities. It wasn't really they didn't even try to have a story in these older movies, but uh, they were mostly ripped off from other movies that did well at the box office. One of which, in that vein, is a little-known uh, Chuck Norris effort from his earlier times called Breaker Breaker, um, which mainly tries to capitalize, and it truly rips off two main features. It rips off the movie, the trucking movie Convoy, and it rips off Walking Tall, which starred John Do uh, Joe Don Baker in the lead role, and it's one of my favorite movies, and I'll talk about it another day. Um, Chuck Norris plays a trucker, basically, that uh, goes to look for his lost brother who is driving his truck through a small town that has some really, really fanatical laws and regulations and whatnot. And uh, like I said, it's a, it's, a, it's a clone of Convoy and Walking Tall because once Chuck Norris gets into the town and finds out things are just some wild things are going on, they're stealing trucks, supplies, and using them for their own purposes and just some wacko... Uh, country bumpkin type folks down there just making their own laws, rules and regulations, some really crazy stuff going on, which adds to its appeal and has some comedic moments as a result. But uh, he goes to find his little brother and fights ensue throughout the whole like second half of the movie. Um, not much to say here as far as story goes. That is the story. It's just another showcase for Chuck Norris's uh, fighting abilities. Um, gotta say, uh, Chuck Norris acting is just subpar. There's not much in the act. I, I admit it. He never was a great actor, but some of his best roles were where he didn't say much. He just kind of squinted and did the Clint Eastwood routine where he just used his look and his fighting abilities to do the talking. Um, folks, probably even better in the fighting department than A Force of One is Breaker Breaker. Um, the movie has some really great fight scenes in it, albeit the production value is like a TV movie of the week. It has decent... Uh, Produ uh, production in the fight scenes, good choreographed uh, fight scenes in the movie. Um, the the one thing I'll say about the DVD, it does support a widescreen and standard version if that's your thing. Um, there's not much in there as far as special features. It was a bargain bin find, but that's the thing. It was a find because it's it is hard to find. I've not been able to find it since, and a lot of people have asked me. Um, where they can go and get Breaker Breaker. I think you might be able to find a few uh, copies of it on Half.com and places like that. eBay, of course. Um, no special features. Um, it's got a good transfer. One thing that I did spy, a little piece of trivia here for you on Breaker Breaker. Um, it says the feature running time is one hour, five minutes. And on the disc it's well and, you know, as well inside it says an hour or 60, 65 minutes running time. This isn't true, folks. I've timed it the uh, last time I watched it recently on the DVD player. It's actually about a 90-minute feature. So I don't know if that was just a typo, and that's why this movie ended up in the bargain bin. I don't know. It could have been because it's not that great of a movie. But it is a good fighting movie. You just want some hardcore action, just like A Force of One, except none other than Breaker Breaker with Chuck Norris. If you can find it, it's a good fighting movie. It, if you want to just have some brain-dead fighting, you know, just all-out machismo movie there, Get this one and check it out. Take care, folks. I'll see you next time for some more Chuck Norris action reviews.